Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to give some folks some time to catch the stream. Um, in the meantime, let's see a little bit about what your favorite holiday treat is. Um, drop it in your comments here. Uh, or maybe just a baking treat, something you look forward to every year. Uh, I don't know, Jane, if you have one or not, but... <laughs> Sure, I'm looking forward to making your hot chocolate cookies that I found on your website. Yes, those are so good. Those are a fan favorite for sure. Um, highly recommend it. Of course, I'm a little biased, but <laughs> they are a fan favorite. So I'm just waiting to see whose favorite holiday treats that we have in our chat box. Ooh, white chocolate cookies. My goodness, that sounds decadent. Um, that is so cool. One of my favorites that my mom makes for me, and she hates it that I request it because it's so time consuming, is upside down pineapple cake. Mm. <laughs> Delicious handmade. Okay, well, we are going to go ahead and get started, but feel free to continue to, to put in your favorite uh, baking item in the chat if you'd like. Uh, my name is Brittany Sanier. I'm the executive director of the Partnership for Food Safety Education. And we are joined by a special guest today, Jane DeMarchi, uh, with the North American Millers Association. Hi, Jane. Hi there. I'm Brittany. I'm happy to be here. So yeah, I'm the president of the North American Millers Association, and NAMR represents millers, large and small, across the country, um, and in Canada and Puerto Rico. So what our members do is they take wheat, corn, oats, oatmeal, um, oats and rye, and they make things like oatmeal, wheat flour, cornmeal, some of your favorite ingredients uh, that go into some awesome food, like all these different cookies we're talking about. And, you know, food safety is really important to our industry. And that's why we're so excited to be here with you today uh, and to support the Partnership for Food Safety Education. We're happy and glad to be talking about um, flour food safety. Yes, and we're so happy to have you here. Um, we are going to whisk up a little bit of a conversation for all of you food puns out there. I love them. Uh, you know, one of the, during this time of the year, when we start talking about holiday baking, we often receive a comment that people are not aware that flour is a raw ingredient. And I was just curious, you know, do you mind sharing a little bit about that? Why is flour considered raw? Sure, happy to. You're exactly right. Flour is raw when it arrives at your house. Um, it is not cooked or baked. So maybe we should back up a little bit and just talk about what is wheat flour and where does it come from? So wheat flour comes from the wheat plant. It's grown outside and it's harvested. And when it's harvested, the grain, which I have a little bit here, you can see the grain is separated from the plant. And that grain is cleaned several times before it goes to the mill. And in the mill, it's ground, and that's what makes the wheat flour. But during that process, it is never baked or cooked. And because it comes from outside, you know, it could contain bacteria that can cause foodborne illness. Um, but they're very easy ways to reduce your risk, you know. And, and the primary one of them is don't eat raw cookie dough. You know, and that goes for kids as well. And don't use raw flour as an ingredient in things like milkshakes or smoothies. And, you know, a lot of the flour that you find in the grocery store, it has a reminder on it that reminds you of those. Uh, like this one says, cook before sneaking a taste. Flour is raw. Please cook fully before enjoying. So those are tips you can remember to help stay safer this uh, holiday season. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Jane. And it's a great reminder too the importance of reading package instructions. I know sometimes we all get into our mode and zones and um, we might whiz past that, but uh, there are safe handling instructions on uh, food packaging there for you to, to help you have a healthy meal or, or treat. Um, and we want to encourage you all to Well, it looks like we've maybe lost Brittany, um, but I do want to add a couple of um, plugs for some additional resources for you. One is the um, our own website, namamillers.org. We have a number of tips and links to other organizations. FDA also has a lot of 
safety tips for safe baking and cooking. And the Partnership for Food Safety Education has terrific resources, um, many of which have been scrolling along the bottom, which is information um, it, to have safe recipes, which we urge people uh, to share with your um, contacts, uh, terrific uh, directions on safe baking. So with that, thank you so much for joining the uh, live stream today.